In June 1941, as the skies over the Soviet Union darkened with German bombers, the Red Air Force rose to fight with one of the most diverse arsenals of aircraft ever assembled. From fragile biplanes to deadly ground attack machines, from American Lend-Lease fighters to powerful Yak and Law series today, we'll cover every Soviet aircraft used in World War II. Let's take off. The war began with biplanes, yes, biplanes still in frontline Soviet service. The I-16 was a Soviet single-engine, single-seat, low-wing monoplane with retractable landing gear. It was the first monoplane fighter of its kind to enter service and form the backbone of the VVS at the start of World War II. This 1,930 seconds biplane fighter had a gull-shaped upper wing, the nickname Chica, and saw extensive service with the VVS and in the Spanish Civil War. A development of the I-15 with a straight, longer upper wing, 2,408 were built between 1,937, 1,940, and they served as interceptors and attack aircraft. Late 1,930 seconds, sesquiplane fighter developed from the I-15. It introduced a retractable undercarriage and powered by a radial engine, with 3,437 built, designed in 1938 as an all-metal replacement for the I-16. Prototypes used M88 engines, but after two fatal crashes and the development of the Le 5, the project was canceled. The I-190 was Polikarpov's last biplane fighter, an M88-powered improvement of the I-153 built in 1939 that never entered production. The follow-on I-195 proposed a more powerful M90 engine, enclosed cockpit and heavier armament, but remained a paper project. The Yak-1 was a single-seat monoplane fighter with composite structure and wooden wings. Introduced in 1940, it was maneuverable and easy to maintain and provided the basis for later Yak fighters. An improved Yak-1 with a bubble canopy, shortened fuselage, and heavier armament. 12.7 mm UBS machine gun. Production of this low-altitude variant began in August 1942. Small, light, and rugged single-engine fighter known for its high power-to-weight ratio and superb maneuverability. It was introduced in 1944 as a low-altitude tactical fighter and became a pilot favorite. Derived from a two-seat trainer, the Yak-7 proved tougher and simpler than the Yak-1. The definitive single-seat Yak-7B reduced wingspan and landing gear complexity and saw large-scale production. A lightened derivative of the Yak-7B, the Yak-9 entered service in late 1942 with an all-metal structure that allowed extra fuel or larger cannon. Variants included the long-range Yak-9 DDD, 37mm armed Yak-9 tons, 45mm armed Yak-9K, fighter bomber Yak-9B, improved Yak-9U, and all-metal Yak-9P. A total of 16,769 were built. Early World War II fighter built largely of laminated wood to conserve strategic materials. First flown in March, 1940, about 100 were produced, but it was underpowered and led to the improved La G3. Refinement of the La G1 using delta wood construction. Although modern, when Germany invaded, it was heavy and unpopular, yet over 6,500 were built, and it served until replaced by radial engine La 5. Conversion of the La GG3 to use a powerful Schwetzhoff H82 radial engine. The La 5 became one of the VVS's best fighters and could challenge German types on equal terms. The La 5F introduced a cut down rear fuselage for better pilot visibility, while the La 5FN added a fuel injected engine and lightened airframe. Combined, these variants significantly improved performance. The La 5F introduced a cut down rear fuselage for better pilot visibility while the La 5FN added a fuel-injected engine and lightened airframe. Combined, these variants significantly improved performance. High-altitude fighter designed in 1939 using steel tubing and wood, handling problems limited production to 100 aircraft, and it was quickly superseded by the MiG-3, improved MiG-1, optimized for high-altitude interception. About 981 were in service when Germany attacked, but the type performed poorly at low altitudes and survivors were relegated to air defense duties.
British single-seat fighter that accounted for most Luftwaffe losses during the Battle of Britain. Rugged and easy to maintain, it remained in production throughout the war. High-performance British interceptor, famous for its elliptical wings, it was the only RAF fighter built throughout the war, and the stopgap MKIX, with a two-stage supercharged Merlin engine, restored parity against the FW-190. American single-engined, all-metal fighter bomber, derived from the P-36. Widely used by Allied Air Forces, its single-stage supercharger limited high-altitude performance, but it served effectively in North Africa, the Pacific, and Soviet theaters. Unique low-wing fighter with tricycle undercarriage and its Allison engine behind the cockpit. This layout allowed a 37mm cannon firing through the propeller hub, but the lack of a high-altitude supercharger relegated it to low-level combat where it was heavily used by the USSR. Improved derivative of the P-39 with a more powerful engine and better armament. Rejected for U.S. combat use, but built in significant numbers and supplied to the Soviet Union. Large, robust U.S. Single-engine fighter armed with eight 50-cal machine guns. Its heavy bomb load and radial engine made it an effective fighter bomber that could survive significant damage. An early U. S. Navy monoplane fighter. It beat the Grumman F-4F in 1939 to become the Navy's first monoplane carrier fighter, but was soon deemed obsolete, although Finland successfully used denavalized versions against Soviet aircraft. The USSR did not operate the type. Finnish examples fought Soviet aircraft during the Continuation War. The Il-2 was a single-engine armored ground attack plane with 36,183 built, it became the most produced military aircraft ever, and its role as a Sturmovik flying tank made it critical in Soviet close air support. From late 1942, the Il-2 added a rear gunner and swept outer wings. The Il-2M-3-1944 used all metal swept outer wings that restored handling while retaining the rear gunner. Photo reconnaissance. Artillery spotting conversion of the Il-2 that carried cameras instead of much of its usual weaponry. Citation, same as base Il-2. Developed at the end of World War II to replace the Il-2, the Il-10 offered better speed and maneuverability. Armament included 23 mm cannons and a rear gun and 4,966 plus. Check B. 33 seconds were built. The Il-10M 1951 had a longer fuselage, larger wings, and four NR-23 cannons. The Su-2 was Pavel Sukhoi's first production aircraft, a single-engine reconnaissance and light bomber used early in the war. It was later modified into the Su-4 and ground attack Shabi variants. An upgraded Su-2 fitted with a more powerful M82 radial engine, shortages of duralumin, forced the use of plywood wing structures, and armament was uprated to Berezin UB machine guns. Only a prototype was built. This wood-constructed Sukhoi attack bomber first flew in 1,940. Armed with six cast machine guns and able to carry up to 600 kilograms of bombs, tests showed that a dual bomber attack role was impractical, and the project gave way to dedicated attack aircraft. Twin-engine light transport Attack aircraft built largely of wood to save strategic materials. Developed in 1942 from existing La 5 and Il-2 components, about 550 were built, and it served as a liaison, ambulance, and night attack aircraft. The P-8 was the USSR's only four-engine heavy bomber of World War II. 93 were built, and they carried out long-range missions, such as the August 1000, 941 raid on Berlin and transport of Foreign Minister Molotov to Washington. An experimental long-range bomber derived from the P-2. Only three prototypes were built and two flew, so it remained an experimental footnote. An experimental long-range bomber derived from the P-2. Only three prototypes were built and two flew, so it remained an experimental footnote. American light medium bomber used as night intruder, night fighter, and reconnaissance aircraft. The USSR received most A-20B and many A-20G. H models through Lendlease, 
making it the most numerous foreign aircraft in Soviet bomber units. Twin-engine, long-range, and torpedo bomber developed from the DB-3, widely used by Soviet Air Force and Naval Aviation during World War II, with over 5,000 built. Predecessor of the IL-4, a twin-engine, low-wing monoplane bomber, first flown in 1,935, 1,528 were built. Twin-engine, long-range medium bomber, derived from the Bartini Stahl 7 airliner. It bombed Berlin from bases in Estonia in 1941 and later served in tactical roles until being replaced after the war. Dive bomber version of the Tupolev SB with redesigned wing panels, streamlined engine nacelles and glazed nose. About 190 were built and they represented a final effort to extend the SB design. Versatile twin-engine dive bomber considered one of the outstanding Soviet tactical aircraft. It also served as a heavy fighter and reconnaissance aircraft and accounted for 75% of Soviet twin-engine bomber output, with over 11,000 built. The P-2 feet was a simplified late-war production model with heavier armament, while the P-2R was a high-speed reconnaissance version. Both retained the excellent performance of the P-2 Citation, same as base P-2. Long-range heavy night fighter variant of the P-2, used as night and day fighter, ground attack and reconnaissance aircraft with around 360 built. The P-3BIS introduced improved armament and equipment, twin-engine high-speed daylight bomber designed to deliver a heavy bomb load at fighter-like speeds, comparable to the German Ju-88 and produced in bomber, torpedo bomber, and interceptor variants with 2,257 built. High-speed twin-engine monoplane bomber, first flown in 1,934. It was the first Soviet stress-skin aircraft produced in large numbers and was one of the world's most important bombers before World War II. Two-seat biplane reconnaissance and light bomber introduced in the early 1,930 seconds. Built from wooden fabric, it became the VVS's standard light attack aircraft with roughly 6,000, 7,000 produced. Improved R-5 with streamlined fuselage and more machine guns, about 1,031 were built for reconnaissance, light bombing duties, versatile wooden fabric biplane used for training, liaison, and night harassment. In the all-female 588th Night Bomber Regiment, Night Witches, Po two seconds carried out daring low-altitude raids on German rear areas. Twin-engine light bomber, reconnaissance aircraft, originally Ja, 22. Only small numbers were built, and most were lost early in Operation Barbarossa. Improved Yacht 2 with more powerful M105 engines, additional fuel and revised canopy. About 90 were built for light bombing and reconnaissance. Wood-built attack bomber prototype intended to combine bomber and attack duties did not enter production. In addition to night bombing, the PO-2 served widely as an artillery spotter, liaison, and trainer aircraft. Both types were also used extensively for reconnaissance and artillery spotting. Reconnaissance variant of the Su-2 with cameras replacing some armament citation as per Su-2. High-speed reconnaissance versions of the P-2, P-3, they retained the bomber's speed and range while carrying cameras. Photo reconnaissance variants of the Yak-2 and Yak-4 fitted with additional cameras, citation as per Yak-2, Yak-4. Artillery spotting, observation version of the IL-2 with cameras and flares. Twin-engine flying boat used for coastal reconnaissance and anti-submarine patrols from 1,935, 1,365 were built, and they could be fitted with wheels or skis. U.S. Maritime Patrol flying boat used widely by Allied navies. In U.S. service, it was designated OA-10 for air sea rescue in Canso in Canada. Catalinas performed maritime patrol, anti-submarine, and search and rescue duties into the 1,980 seconds. Two-seat all-metal biplane floatplane built to replace the He-55. Persistent handling and maintenance problems limited it to about a dozen examples used mainly for training and search and rescue. 1,930 seconds. High-wing reconnaissance flying boat, the only successful design from Igor Chetverikov. About 20 production aircraft were built, and they were withdrawn in 1942 due to structural issues. Experimental Soviet torpedo bomber floatplane, 
Gidro Torpidni, Samolyat. Only prototypes were built and it saw no service. Four engine maritime heavy bomber, flying boat used by Soviet naval aviation, a handful served in reconnaissance and bombing roles, including attacks on German shipping general knowledge, citation not provided. British medium bomber adapted as a torpedo bomber. A few were supplied to the Soviet Navy for anti-shipping strikes general knowledge, limited citation available. Soviet license-built version of the Douglas DC-3, produced by Gaz Factories at Moscow and Tashkent. From 1939, it served as a cargo, passenger transport, and light bomber with over 6,000 built. Small Soviet light transport aircraft used for liaison and communications, produced in limited numbers. Light transport attack aircraft described in ground attack section. Post-war twin-engine airliner and cargo aircraft that entered service in 1947 and replaced Lee two seconds on longer routes. Military transport version of the DC-3, extensively used by the Allies for troop and cargo transport, glider towing, and paratrooper drops, with over 10,000 produced. Troop transport variant of the C-47 equipped for paratroop operations, supplied in smaller numbers than the C-47 variant information included on C-47 page. Twin-engine medium bomber developed from the Lodestar transport used by the RAF from 1,942 and by the U.S. Navy as the PV-1 patrol bomber, later PV-2 harpoons served in anti-submarine and shipping strike roles. Some were used as transports in Soviet service. Soviet B-25 seconds were occasionally used to transport personnel and cargo over long ranges. Two-seat low-wing monoplane trainer, NATO reporting name Mink, used by the Soviet Air Force from 1,937 until replaced by the Yak-18, over 7,000 were built. Single-seat advanced trainer, aerobatic aircraft based on the Air-14, used from 1,937 as an intermediary between basic trainers and fighters like the I-16. Dual control trainer version of the Yak-7 fighter. It was used to transition pilots to high-performance fighter. Two-seat trainer conversion of the I-16 used extensively to train Soviet fighter pilots. Trainer versions of the Lajig-3 used to familiarize pilots with Lavochkin fighters. Besides bomber duties, the P-8 performed special tasks such as carrying Soviet diplomats, Molotov, to Washington in 1942. Light liaison aircraft used to direct artillery fire, saw limited operational use. Long-range airliner prototypes, predecessors of the DB-3, IL-4, used as fast transports. One TSKB-30 aircraft flew a record-breaking Moscow-San Jacinto flight in 1937. U. S. Advanced trainer supplied in small numbers for pilot conversion. Known for good handling, two-seat observation aircraft used for liaison and reconnaissance. A few were delivered to the USSR. British torpedo bomber biplane. One or two were used by the Soviets for testing torpedo tactics.